Ancient China refers to the period of Chinese history that spans from the earliest recorded times to the end of the Han Dynasty in 220 AD. This period covers more than 3,000 years and is divided into several major dynasties, each with its own distinct cultural and political characteristics. The earliest recorded period of Chinese history is the Xia Dynasty, which is said to have ruled from around 2100 BC to 1600 BC. However, the existence of this dynasty is still debated by historians. The first historically confirmed dynasty is the Shang Dynasty, which ruled from around 1600 BC to 1046 BC. During this period, China developed a system of writing, agriculture, and bronze metallurgy. The Zhou Dynasty followed the Shang Dynasty and lasted from 1046 BC to 256 BC. It was during this period that Confucianism, Taoism, and Legalism emerged as important schools of thought, and the concept of the Mandate of Heaven was developed. The Zhou Dynasty was followed by the Qin Dynasty, which lasted from 221 BC to 206 BC and was characterized by the unification of China under a single emperor, the construction of the Great Wall of China, and the standardization of weights and measures. The Han Dynasty followed the Qin Dynasty and lasted from 206 BC to 220 AD. This period was marked by significant cultural, scientific, and technological achievements, including the invention of paper, the development of the Silk Road, and the establishment of a civil service system. The Han Dynasty was also known for its military expansion, which included the conquest of Vietnam, Korea, and parts of Central Asia. Paleolithic China refers to the prehistoric period of Chinese history that dates back to around 2.6 million years ago, when the first evidence of human occupation was found in the country. During this period, the climate and environment of China were quite different from what they are today, with a much colder climate and a vast expanse of grasslands. The Paleolithic period is further divided into three sub-periods, the Lower Paleolithic, the Middle Paleolithic, and the Upper Paleolithic. During the Lower Paleolithic, early humans in China relied on stone tools, such as choppers and hand axes, to hunt and gather food. In the Middle Paleolithic, more advanced tools, such as scrapers and blades, were developed, and humans began to use fire to cook food and stay warm. The Upper Paleolithic is considered to be the most advanced period of the Paleolithic in China, lasting from about 40,000 to 10,000 years ago. During this period, humans began to create more sophisticated stone tools, such as arrowheads and spearheads, and developed new techniques for hunting and gathering. They also began to create art, such as pottery, carvings, and paintings, and made significant advances in language and social organization. The Paleolithic period in China came to an end around 10,000 years ago with the advent of agriculture and the Neolithic Revolution. Nonetheless, the Paleolithic period in China is significant because it represents the earliest evidence of human habitation in the country and provides important insights into the evolution of human society and culture. The Shang Dynasty was the second dynasty of ancient China, which ruled from approximately 1600 BC to 1046 BC. The Shang Dynasty is known for its sophisticated political and social structures, its development of the earliest Chinese writing system, and its extensive use of bronze. The Shang Dynasty was centered around the Yellow River Valley in northern China, and its capital was located near modern-day Anyang in Henan province. The Shang rulers were skilled military leaders who expanded their territory through conquest and diplomacy. They also developed a complex political system, with a king at the top, followed by a hierarchy of aristocrats, officials, and commoners. The Shang Dynasty was also known for its impressive artistic achievements, particularly in the field of bronze casting. Shang artisans produced elaborate bronze vessels, weapons, and other objects, many of which were decorated with intricate designs and inscriptions. The Shang Dynasty was also one of the earliest cultures to develop a system of writing, known as Oracle Bone Script, which involved inscribing questions on turtle shells or animal bones and then heating them until they cracked, revealing answers from the ancestors or gods. Religion played an important role in Shang society, with a complex pantheon of deities who were believed to govern the natural world and influence human affairs. Shang rulers also employed diviners to interpret auspicious signs and omens in order to make important decisions. The Shang dynasty was eventually overthrown by the Zhou dynasty, but its cultural and artistic achievements continued to influence Chinese civilization for centuries to come. Today, the Shang Dynasty is celebrated as a foundational period in Chinese history and culture. The Zhou Dynasty is one of the longest-lasting and most influential dynasties in Chinese history, ruling from 1046 BC to 256 BC. It succeeded the Shang Dynasty and was followed by the Qin Dynasty. 
The Zhou dynasty is known for its establishment of the concept of the Mandate of Heaven, which held that the ruler of China had the divine right to rule as long as he governed justly and effectively. The Zhou dynasty also saw significant cultural and technological advancements, including the development of Confucianism, Taoism, and legalism. The early Zhou dynasty, also known as the Western Zhou, was characterized by a strong central government and a highly organized bureaucracy. During this period, the Zhou rulers expanded their territory and consolidated their power, building alliances with other powerful states and engaging in diplomatic marriages. In the later part of the Zhou dynasty, known as the Eastern Zhou, China was divided into a number of smaller states, each vying for power and territory. This period was marked by intense warfare and political fragmentation, and it eventually led to the emergence of the Warring States period. Despite the political turmoil of the Eastern Zhou, it was a time of significant cultural and intellectual development. Confucianism, Taoism, and legalism emerged as major schools of thought, each offering different ideas on how to create a just and effective society. Chinese literature, philosophy, and art also flourished during this time. The Zhou dynasty eventually came to an end in 256 BC, when it was conquered by the Qin dynasty. However, its legacy continued to shape Chinese history and culture for centuries to come. The spring and autumn period was a time of significant political and social change in ancient China, lasting from 722 BC to 476 BC. It was named after the Spring and Autumn Annals, a chronicle of events during this period that was written during the Warring States period. During the spring and autumn period, China was divided into a number of smaller states, each vying for power and territory. The period was marked by intense warfare and political fragmentation, as well as the emergence of new philosophical and intellectual ideas. One of the most significant developments of the Spring and Autumn period was the growth of Confucianism as a major school of thought. Confucius, a philosopher who lived during this period, emphasized the importance of morality, ethics, and social order. His teachings had a profound impact on Chinese culture and society, shaping Chinese values and beliefs for centuries to come. The spring and autumn period also saw the rise of new military technologies, including the widespread use of iron weapons and the development of new tactics and strategies. This led to a shift in the balance of power between the smaller states, as some were able to gain an advantage over their rivals. Despite the political turmoil and warfare of the spring and autumn period, it was also a time of significant cultural and artistic development. Chinese literature, music, and art flourished during this time, with new styles and techniques emerging. The spring and autumn period eventually gave way to the Warring States period, a time of even greater political fragmentation and conflict in ancient China. However, the legacy of the spring and autumn period continued to shape Chinese culture and society for centuries to come. The Warring States period was a time of intense political and military conflict in ancient China, lasting from 476 BC to 221 BC. It was a time of significant political fragmentation, with the country divided into a number of smaller states that were vying for power and territory. During the Warring States period, the smaller states engaged in frequent warfare and diplomatic maneuvering, with each seeking to gain an advantage over its rivals. This period saw the rise of new military technologies and tactics, including the use of cavalry, chariots, and crossbows. It was also a time of significant intellectual and philosophical development, with the emergence of major schools of thought such as Taoism, Legalism, and Mohism. The Warring States period was marked by the growth of large armies and the emergence of powerful generals and warlords who were able to gain control over significant portions of China. It was also a time of significant cultural and artistic development, with Chinese literature, music, and art continuing to flourish despite the political turmoil and warfare. In 221 BC, the state of Qin emerged victorious from the conflicts of the Warring States period and succeeded in unifying China under a single ruler, Qin Shi Huang. This marked the end of the Warring States period and the beginning of the Qin dynasty, which would go on to become one of the most influential dynasties in Chinese history. The legacy of the Warring States period continued to shape Chinese culture and society long after its end, with many of the ideas and innovations that emerged during this time having a profound impact on Chinese history and culture. The Bronze Age of China is a period of ancient Chinese history that lasted from around 2000 BC to 771 BC. It is characterized by the widespread use of bronze, an alloy made of copper, tin, and other metals, in the production of weapons, tools, and ritual objects. During the Bronze Age, the Chinese people developed sophisticated techniques for casting and working with bronze, 
resulting in the creation of some of the most beautiful and intricate bronze artifacts in the world. Bronze vessels were used for cooking, drinking, and ritual purposes, and many were adorned with intricate designs and inscriptions. The Bronze Age was also a time of significant cultural, social, and political development in China. During this period, the first writing system in China, the Oracle Bone Script, was developed, providing valuable insights into the beliefs and practices of the time. The Shang Dynasty, 1600 BC to 1046 BC, was the first dynasty of the Bronze Age and was characterized by its military power, extensive use of bronze, and sophisticated political and social structures. The Zhou Dynasty, 1046 BC to 256 BC, which followed the Shang Dynasty, was also a significant period in the Bronze Age of China. It was during this time that the concept of the Mandate of Heaven was developed, which held that the ruler of China had the divine right to rule as long as he governed justly and effectively. The Zhou Dynasty was also known for its significant cultural achievements, including the development of Confucianism, Taoism, and Legalism. Overall, the Bronze Age of China was a time of significant cultural, technological, and political development, which laid the foundation for the rise of some of the most powerful and influential dynasties in Chinese history. The Xia Dynasty is the first dynasty in Chinese history, according to traditional Chinese historiography, and is believed to have ruled from around 2070 BC to 1600 BC. However, the existence of the Xia Dynasty is still a topic of debate among historians and archaeologists, as there is a lack of conclusive evidence to support its existence. According to legend, the Xia Dynasty was founded by a man named Yu the Great, who was said to have been chosen by the gods to bring order to the floods that plagued the Yellow River Valley. Yu is also credited with developing flood control and irrigation systems, as well as founding the Xia Dynasty. The Xia Dynasty is believed to have been a bronze working society, with the use of bronze for weapons, tools, and ritual objects. Archaeological evidence has shown the existence of early bronze artifacts during this time, including bronze vessels and weapons. The Xia Dynasty was also known for its social and political organization, with a hierarchical system of government that included a king, nobles, and commoners. The dynasty is also said to have been ruled by a series of 17 kings, who were believed to have been overthrown by the Shang Dynasty. While there is still some debate over the existence of the Xia Dynasty, it is considered an important part of Chinese history and culture. The legend of Yu the Great and his efforts to control the floods is still celebrated in China today, and the Xia Dynasty is often seen as a symbol of the beginning of Chinese civilization. The Qin Dynasty was the first imperial dynasty of China, lasting from 221 BC to 206 BC. It was founded by Qin Shi Huang, who emerged as the victorious leader of the Warring States period and succeeded in unifying China under a single ruler. During the Qin Dynasty, China saw significant political, social, and cultural changes. Qin Shi Huang implemented a number of reforms to centralize power and establish a strong, centralized government. He standardized weights and measures, currency, and the written language, and began construction on a series of defensive walls that would later become known as the Great Wall of China. The Qin Dynasty also saw significant military expansion, with Qin Shi Huang conquering a number of neighboring states and establishing China's first unified empire. However, this expansion also led to significant social and economic upheaval, as many people were forced to relocate and there was a significant increase in forced labor and taxes. Qin Shi Huang was also known for his ruthless tactics, including the burning of books and the persecution of scholars who disagreed with his policies. However, he also left a lasting legacy, including the establishment of a standardized legal code and the construction of many of the iconic landmarks that are still associated with China today. Despite its many achievements, the Qin Dynasty was short-lived, lasting only 15 years. Following Qin Shi Huang's death, the dynasty was weakened by political infighting and was eventually overthrown by a rebellion led by Liu Bang, who went on to establish the Han Dynasty. However, the legacy of the Qin Dynasty continued to shape Chinese history and culture for centuries to come. The Han Dynasty was the second imperial dynasty of China, lasting from 206 BC to AD 220. It was founded by Liu Bang, who overthrew the Qin Dynasty and established himself as Emperor Gaozu. The Han Dynasty was a period of significant stability and prosperity in China, marked by significant cultural, economic, and technological development. It saw the expansion of the Chinese Empire through military conquest, and the establishment of a centralized bureaucracy that governed the country for centuries to come. During the Han Dynasty, China saw significant advancements in areas such as agriculture, medicine, and metallurgy. 
The invention of the plow and the introduction of new irrigation techniques helped to increase agricultural production, while new medical knowledge and techniques helped to improve public health. In addition, the Han Dynasty saw significant advancements in metallurgy, with the development of new techniques for casting and forging iron and steel. The Han Dynasty was also a period of significant artistic and cultural development, with the emergence of new literary styles and the development of new art forms such as landscape painting and calligraphy. The Han Dynasty was also marked by the growth of Confucianism as a dominant school of thought, with Confucian principles and teachings influencing many aspects of Chinese culture and society. The Han Dynasty eventually declined due to a combination of internal political turmoil and external pressures from invading nomadic tribes. However, the legacy of the Han Dynasty continued to shape Chinese history and culture for centuries to come, with many of its achievements and innovations continuing to have a significant impact on Chinese society and culture today. Overall, ancient China is known for its rich history, cultural traditions, and technological advancements, which continue to influence the world today.